Hey guys, what is going on? It is the Fancy Big here, teaching you guys how to get custom texture packs on iOS and any texture pack too, even if it's a .zip file. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to convert them. Some of them will have a couple of glitches I found out, but most of them work. So I hope you guys enjoy. If this helps, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the video. So the three apps you're going to need for this tutorial is Safari, an app called Documents, and of course Minecraft. Now you can find Documents on the App Store, just look up the word Documents and it'll pop up. Once you've got all three apps, go ahead and head to Safari and go on any texture pack website. I recommend MCPE Hub. Some of them are buggy, but there's a lot of cool ones on there, so I think it's worth it. I also want to note before we get any further, if you get a pop-up that looks like this whenever you download it and open it in Minecraft, that means that you got a texture pack that it just doesn't work with. It doesn't work with all of them, but it works with most of them. Okay, so once you have found the texture pack that you like, you're just going to head and hit download, and then it should pop up with some sort of link. Go ahead and hit download again. I don't know what kind of link it is. It's different with other things, but um, then it should look like this. What you're going to want to do is you want to hit either open in documents or if it didn't pop up you're gonna hit more and then hit open in documents once you've done that it should redirect you into the documents app it's gonna pop up with this thing right here just go ahead and hit OK and then you should see the file on your screen now your next step is to go ahead and tap on the name tag once you've done that go ahead and scroll over and delete the zip not the dot keep that there just delete the zip and replace it with the letters M C P A C K M C pack once you've done that, go ahead and hit enter, and it should confirm that that's what you're trying to do. Just go ahead and say yes. And next, once you've done that step, you're going to go ahead and hit edit, as you can see in slow motion. Um, then you're going to tap on the file that you just did, hit more in the bottom right corner, open in, and then we're going to hit op or copy to Minecraft PE. Sometimes it'll say something different, just tap on the Minecraft icon then it should send it over to Minecraft. And then if you're lucky and everything's been done correctly, it should say started importing, and then it's just gonna go ahead and download the file, just like it says right here, started importing Legendcraft, and then if it worked, it'll say successfully imported with warnings. Sometimes it won't even say there's warnings, but normally there's gonna be warnings. Don't worry about that, you're fine. You can read through them if you want, it really doesn't say that much. But um, after you've done that, you're just gonna go ahead, go to global resources, add the pack, and then restart your game. And there you go, you got your own texture pack ported to work with iOS. So I hope this helped guys. Make sure to leave a like if this helped and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next video and leave a comment if you're having trouble with anything. I'll try to help you out. So you see you guys in the next video.